Hey, what's up, guys? And um, just watching a bit of bracketology on the network. Now that everyone pretty much knows about the John Jones situation, for all, for all those who don't, he has been, or being, stripped of his title that he won at 214 when he defeated uh, DC by knockout uh, July 29. And... He tested steroids for steroids, tested positive for steroids. And um, so right now they're going through the steps they go through to, um, first of all, make sure the test isn't a false positive. And if if it's confirmed positive, well, like it probably will be, get that title back and put it around the waist of DC once more. Um... If you're John Jones, why risk this again? I mean, when is it going to click in his mind that you can't do this shit? You simply can't. You know? And like I said in my video for 214 that it's already on, my channel. I mean, uh, huge respect for John because he he looked like he was squashing that beef with DC and everything, and like you had to respect him for his talent, only to have it thrown away like this again. I don't know, man. It's just where's your head at, John? And I know, obviously, he's not even, even going to see this, but. That's my question. Where's his head at? Um, other than that, we have a big cast update for you. He tore his ACL on Monday night, and he will be out nine months to a year. And that kind of sucks, because just when he just broke out on his own, was going to get a nice push on Raw as a heel... Although, I wasn't too happy with him facing Enzo week after week after week. It's just, why now? Because, looking back at it, he's, he was careful. But, as we all know, it didn't happen. Injuries happen. It's just... Why now? Because it just sucks. Because no Rumble, no Mania, and he's not going to be back till May next year, possibly. And if he wants to rush it, maybe. I would recommend that he does not rush it. I mean, we all know what, with the Rollins situation, he was very depressed about being out, but then again, he had a little more wrong with his knee. He had MCL on top of ACL, and but luckily for Cass, this is just an ACL kind of thing, and he's getting taken care of, and I'm glad they caught it quickly, you know? He's like, the X went up very quickly, and um, they got some guys to him as quick as they basically could to get it all sorted out. It just sucks for him, and as a competitor, as a talent, to sit on the sidelines for nine months to a year. Um, going through my DVDs, um, started with Angle last night, went through one disc already, and I love that. I mean, nine, uh, 99 to about 2000. 2002, that area, and the first disc ends off with uh, Shane and Kurt at the King of the Ring, which is one of my favorite matches. One of them. There's many matches. I mean, it's a great doc, and I, I love the format that they do, where it's backstory, match, backstory, match, and they go on like that. Eight and a half hours in total. So I have a lot of wrestling and watching to do. Because I also have the Seth, which I mentioned in a previous video. 
that I have to start soon, and uh, that will be fully reviewed as well. So, um, tell me what you think, guys, about John Jones, Big Cass, and everything going on lately. Uh, Bracketology, like I said, with um, all the women in the May Young Classic starting up pretty soon in about five days' time. Although it's uh, already been taped and everything, it's going to be on demand. First four episodes drop on the 28th. And uh, hopefully that's going to be some fun. So let me know what you think, guys. Adios.